Oh, I feel like this is gonna have to do with witches. <laughs> if it has that weird symbol right there. <laughs> What's up, everyone? My name is Mosfus. This is Mosfus Games, and we are here with the Dark Picture Anthology. I need to hit A to start this game. I played through the first one, which is Man of Medan, probably a- Jesus Christ, man! What is this? And there's our lovely narrator, who's bugger all. So I played this through once. Um, that was fun. Now this one. We are four college students, and- a professor. Oh, great! We're stranded in an abandoned town of little, <laughs> abandoned town of little hope. Uh, trapped by impenetrable fog, try desperately to escape whilst witnessing terrifying visions from the past. Must figure out the motivation of these apparitions for the evil forces that work drag each of their souls to hell. And as this series has always already said, there's gonna be more. Obviously, throughout the series. Even the trailer for Man of Medan had stuff in it that I'm like, this isn't in Man of Medan, so. We got our collectibles. I'm gonna boost this up on my end, because it's very quiet in my headset. All the pictures. Okay, we got nothing. We're just, I'll just go back to what I was doing. <laughs> it only took. Play alone! I have Anthony here, who's gonna be making all the decisions. <laughs> Every single decision is in his hands. And we're gonna start with a new story, new slot, and here we go. Play with the controller, press A. Uh, is this gonna teach me the quick time options again? I have so many cards. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Keep this game mode loading. And yes, we have the light on because otherwise you won't be able to see me. Yay, little hope. Yay. Roadside diner at 9.42 p.m. <laughs> That's fun. Isn't that the... The wild magic. Okay, I feel like we're dealing with witches. You can hear, right? Okay. <laughs> and you can see. Mm -hmm. Everyone else can see, but... Oh, this is fun. Please don't make me drive. Oh, what are we gonna hit? What are we gonna hit? I feel like I'm going into Silent Hill. Or Resident Evil. Or Silent Hill. What's up, coppers? What's up, state troopers? Hey, yo! <laughs> Why does this guy look so familiar to me? The driver looks so familiar. Has he been in like a, I think he's been in a different video game. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? Okay, where are my- hold up. Where are my subtitles? I asked for subtitles. Fine. You know what? Sure, we'll do all. Jesus. We got a problem. Thank you. <laughs> a big accident. We've had to close the road. I don't see an accident. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. This dude knows something. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Unless you get stuck in a town called Little Head Hope. Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. This guy knows something. No time to your journey. He knows something. What do you know, bus driver? What do you know? 
Oh god, I'm getting a Blair Witch vibe too. Oh, there's a part in Blair Witch where you go through that like that exact structure on a minecart. It's horrible. I hate it. I also despise the Blair Witch game. Because it was bad. <laughs> Not that it wasn't fun, it was just bad. What ship? How long have you been sober? I heard the first 90 days are the toughest. Was that a leaf? Roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. You're now entering Little Hope. Welcome to our historic town. Going the wrong way. It's fine. Just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John. Could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? No! <laughs> Oh! Little girls, do not run out into the road. You scare bus drivers, send me. Where's the right button? Little girl! So here's- this is the fun part of the game. For anyone who's ever played these games, you get these things. A girl stood in the road, causes the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. These can sometimes help you in- throughout the game and they'll update. So now we have her as our bearings. There's all the secrets you can collect and pictures. We have the bus driver is locked. So those will update throughout the game as you learn more and they can help with decision making. Since you're going to be making the decisions. I also got to remember where all the keys are. AXYB. 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 Because there's a lot of fast things and I don't like it. Okay. There's a house. John, Jesus. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Girl. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. Oh shit. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. <laughs> There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory. You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Ooh. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. <coughs> Four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much. She's about not that. right. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real Whoa. Low low. So she was Don't adopted then. You're not the only me. one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Holy shiz. <laughs> so they must have adopted Megan. A X Y B A X Y B. Not tonight. No way. What the hell does that mean? What means n Bonnie Tramp? Clark family home, Massachusetts. Anthony. Is late. She always is these days. Uh, okay. So what do you want to do? Indifferent. She's always been late. Tourists give her a break or say nothing. Say nothing. Say nothing? Mm -hmm. Why is this here? Only released last year. Even a no taste hardhead like you will appreciate this. Going to be huge. <clears throat> okay. Of course, you change it to a game. Jerk. She's trying hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl. <laughs> hey, indignant. Don't, Don't be, be a, a dick. dick. Don't be a dick? Yeah. Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. <laughs> Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? They're watching hockey, it looks like. Is that Tanya? Damn, I... I'm 
going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. Seriously. Who's that guy? Who are all these people? How's things? <laughs> Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. Yeah. He's been at each of his throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? What do you want to do? Uh, Dad's been drinking. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and so. <laughs> That's like my collection. brother with his vinyls and his cassettes. He has cassettes that are worth a good Thinks amount of money. <laughs> it's like it's like these are precious. I can't put them in the attic. Dennis is being Dennis. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. <laughs> being really Dennis. What a surprise. What's in the attic? Also, you should definitely not put vinyls up in an attic. <laughs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Uh oh. Hey! Quit acting crazy! Uh. That's not good. <laughs> Fucking hell, girl! Jeez. Jesus! <laughs> you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. Time to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. God, Jesus, girl. Don't ninja like that. You know, it's scary when you do that to people. <laughs> oh. She took a key, but which key did she take? That's not the key from the front door. Because I had, like, number it's one dad on it. For me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't Who get is Tanya? Picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Go check on her. Leave Megan alone. Come on. Come on. Say nothing. Say nothing. Question a little too tough for you? Gotta be faster. <laughs> These are split second decisions. We just gotta decide. And someone may die. Okay, press and hold right trigger to pick up objects. Some interaction tree reveals secrets, secrets you can find. Okay, so right trigger. Then we can look at this. It's a box of matches. That's fun. Now we're gonna light the stove. Because apparently we want to put the kettle on, which isn't full of anything because we didn't fill it with anything. So why are we cooking a kettle? <laughs> and our dad is drunk and asleep. Press A in time with a heartbeat. Oh, shit. We're good. We didn't wake him. We didn't get beat the shit out of. Sup, Dad? You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Uh huh. Mom is real worried about her. Uh huh. Can't imagine why. Tanya's checking on her. Tanya's checking on her. Tanya's checking on her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. Oh, sorry, you Tanya. Want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Are they all adopted? Is my question. Check on Tanya. Use L to move, and we are off. Welcome to Little Hope. 
Uh, Jesus, I hate these. Oh, I forgot about these camera angles. Oh, I hate them all so much. <laughs> so there's something glowing in here. Let's go check this. Ooh, New England Witch Trials. That sounds like a light read. Little Hope Museum, eight bucks. Did we buy it or steal it from the museum? That's the real question. Okay. Great. So usually you'll see the, the glimmer like this. Ah. Shroud of Innocence. Perfect it must distraction from this madhouse. <laughs> it must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. AP Davis the Herald. Shroud of Innocence by T.S. Hartley. Okay. Cool. Great. Apparently this family likes witches. Okay. Inspect. Use to look around there may be hidden information okay there's a tire swing got some stars on it I don't see anything else except for a tire swing okay fun that was great dude they have a bar they have <laughs> I wonder why the dad's always drunk. They got a freaking bar in their house. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. Uh, did I need to, like, examine? I don't think I need to do examine that again. It wasn't like there was anything else I could do with it. Okay, he's asleep again. That's helpful. There's a telephone. Okay, can we not do a 360... We can open or not. Locked. So did she take the key from the front door or is the door just straight up locked? God, these camera angles. I forget what this kid's name is. There's even a champagne bucket. Oh, this is Anthony. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Okay, I'm coming. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Oh, she was behind us. Uh you could be right about my family. Who are you talking to, honey? I think so too. Oh What's going on? She's got a witch that friend. Rat locked me out. It's fucking freezing! <gasps> I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. She's gonna lock him out too. Holy fork! Oh lordy, the mom is locked in the bathroom. The foster mom and the dad is passed out Jim. drunk. Megan, you in there? Oh lordy, Tanya jump. No! Yeah, no, we're not serious that the kitchen is on fire. Oh my god, that thing took! It's an odd flame effect. Also, that caught real quick. Oh no! Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! Help! Tanya, jump, girl! Dude, Tanya should just jump. Or sorry, Tanya should just jump. Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! Who are we gonna save? That's gonna be the question. Who are we gonna save? Who do you wanna save? Think of it now. Yo, dumb. Jesus. I can't breathe. <gasps> oh, he's dead. That ceiling's about to give in. Dude, just dump into the snow. The snow will be so much better than anything else. Oh, 
Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Megan. And she did from smoke inhalation. Who do we save? Who do we save? Help Megan or help Tanya? Who? Tanya. Well, that was a decision. Anthony! Help! What should I do? Shit me down the drain pipe? Are you serious right now? What should she do? Drain pipe. Get to the drain pipe and climb down. You go, Tanya. You go, girl. Dude, there's got to be enough snow. I would just... Oh, no, the ice. No way that drain pipe's going to hold. <laughs> So I think you killed Tanya and Megan. <laughs> nice job. You want to make it three for three? <laughs> well, that was fun. Is that the freaking clergy dude? The the chaplain or the safety matches? And he did. Okay. How why were we still holding on to the matches is my question in all of this. Why are we still holding on to these? So much death. Yes! Oh. So this is the intro to all the dark picture anthologies. Um, so, welcome to Little Hope. Welcome to Little Hope. And here's our narrator! Welcome, Brody, we missed you. And welcome back. Yay! I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Already, we're not even on a boat this time. Look at the candelabra he has. So the first one was the boat now. So it looks like there should be two more this stories after this one. I'm sure there's nothing. I like the next one. It has a moon on it. A crescent moon. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. Okay. It's only part written. And the choices you make will complete it. Yay. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. That's What's good. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Like, I don't anyway, know if we could have saved Megan. The future, I said. Or Life Tanya. And walking I, don't shadow. So. Eh? I don't know if, I feel like maybe we could have saved Megan. You are about to enter. I don't know. I think we went in there, he would have died. A confusing. <laughs> Perhaps it is disturbing. Died earlier, and then Tanya how disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe. I don't know. And how confusing on the path you choose to take. So he's explaining kind of what you need to there do in the story. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. NBD. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless yeah. and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. Cause I don't know if there's any more secrets in the house we could have found. I As think those may life, have been the only couple your decisions ones. Will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. Yep. So much. 
Seriously, dude, I thought the first one was bad. How this many one's more worse. deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? <laughs> Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? This there guy is, is no like right my answer. fave. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to You can help move you. that. I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place. Uh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, curator. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Sweet. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. This is the same on the boat. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Bye. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. I'm not dressed for a funeral. I have a rose. Just we'll just hold this. We have one purple rose. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Oh yeah, I forgot Anthony's dead too. That was the kid who drove Tanya. Oh, I should put this back in its little vase before I have to make a choice about something. Okay, that's bright. It is real bright. Did someone get struck by lightning? Hello? Andrew, college student, anxious, detached. <clears throat> huh? Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Oh, we're back to the bus. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Bus crash site, May the 27th. Ah! <coughs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Hey. How's he doing? What do you How's want me to do? Doing? Huh? How's he doing? How is he doing anyway? Okay, so, real quick. So now we have Taylor, sister John, we're checking on Andrew after the bus. And that will affect the things that we do. So these is this is everyone so far. So we have Andrew, John, Angela, and Daniel. Andrew, John, and Daniel. So we haven't. Yep. We still have to find Angela and Daniel. We haven't met them yet. And we don't have any secrets, bearings. I don't know if this got updated. Nope. So that was Megan that stopped the bus. Not that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? So we went Why up in sensitivity. For help? Maybe the cops, someone like that. Never thought of that, or I'm on it. Uh, I'm on it. I already tried once, but I'm on it. So we were considerate, so that went up. Oh, I should probably move my... Hey, Andrew, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? Hold on. I should probably move this, because... What happened? 
Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there. So give yourself <laughs> Just a time. mild concussion. Stay here. Don't move. You're fine, though. Just a mild concussion. It's all good. So, bus driver might have gone through the windshield. We have no Fucking bars. Thing. This is a piece of crap. Might as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Okay, there's... Looks like Daniel went out on the other side of the bus. And has a busted something. Sprained ankle. Daniel. 20. College student. Amiable and defensive. Fuck. Where's my phone? <laughs> Fuck, wish. Oh, he went out the back down a ravine. <sighs> yes, flashlight. That's better than a freaking. Oh, <laughs> the person. <sighs> Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. Sup, Angela? Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John. Good to hear you. Daniel? Why is this such a tiny trip? Why is there literally Taylor, four okay? students and one professor? I'm good. We're fine too. Even my animation asking. classes were at the you small. okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John. Any idea what caused the crash? Mm -mm. Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. I don't think you're here. There, by the way? No. No. Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Great. Take the trail. Great. Take you to the road. Great. We group there. That's a plan. Great. See you soon. Great. I love that plan. Hey, Let's Taylor, go through the woods. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? <laughs> Let's Wait, go through the frickin' woods. I don't woods. remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. We were he looks a like Megan. That didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as the moon? a character building exercise. Press the matching prop for time runs out. Damn it, I didn't hit the right prop. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Forgot where X is on the controller. <laughs> That's going to happen more than Teamwork once. I got scared. <laughs> so be, so yeah, he is. Blame he's so related to Megan. Look at his facial Brent. features. On the head must have been his a mouth and nose and everything. Trail, he looks like Megan. 100% he's related to her. Why leave the bus? Why leave the bus? Yeah. Again, say nothing you. is Why like, if Not you want to do say wait. nothing, that's no. an option you can pick. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the bus driver? Someone Where's will come. Where's the bus driver? Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. We don't know where he went. You're right, let's go. We're saying You're right, let's go. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. So our bearings updated. So Team Taylor. Taylor agreed with John's plan to head into town. So now we have that bearing. And as you can see, the status went up. And I'll try to be better <laughs> with my controls. Use L to move. So now we are Taylor. I'm going to walk back this way real quick to see... Hey. That's the wrong way. I don't care. We walk towards town. All three of us together. I'm concussed. I don't care. I'm serpentining. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Oh. That Good bumper moves shot. faster. Hey, Daniel, you guys. I am not a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not like God. The trail is the pit. <laughs> She's but sassy. Okay. <laughs> this little detour is ruining my clothes. Wow, That's Angela is sass. Here. Your clothes are ruined? Really? You're a mess. That outfit's expensive. Say nothing. Uh, that outfit's expensive. Easy. That outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. 
My money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money. That's what she wants to hear about. Yeah. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel! You got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. Or someone took it. Right? We're gonna keep moving. See ya. Bye. Oh, hey, girl. Hey. Did you take his phone? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Woo. Okay, there's... Looks like cans and bottles. Okay. So there's liquor. And a- wait, was that- Oh my god, that is! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look down! Look at all the skulls! Oh, you're kidding me. Now what? Looks like something out of a creepy horror movie. Actually, you're nearly right. I've seen stuff like this in books. It's there to ward off evil spirits. Jesus. Great! It's a night full of nightmares. I love that it's there to ward off evil spirits, because I have- Nothing better to do with my life than ward off evil spirits by killing rodents and making a stick figure out of twigs. Welcome to Abandon Hope. <laughs> Welcome to Unreadable Abandon Hope. Ah. <laughs> Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. That's great. That's fantastic. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't He's think so I don't. related to Megan. You both know little hey, how do I get out of here? Why should I? Why should I? Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. How do you know all this? How do you I could. Know this? Wow. How do you know all this stuff wow. anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional <laughs> academic. I read books, unlike some. <sighs> Damn! Easy, I, I can match everything you got with just a phone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Yeah. Pshaw. Ooh, the professor's assassin. Okay. Um, speed limit is fifty miles an hour. That's great and all. <laughs> Glad it was fifty miles an hour. Hey, boys and lady. Good to see you too. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. Sounds sure fun. Hell took your own sweet time. Just getting worried. I'm surprised we didn't play as Daniel and Angela. Climb it. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Oh, there's barbed wire on the top. Never mind. Don't climb it. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Uh, now are we gonna be there? Think this will do it? Cool. Can we keep Ready? that? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job. <laughs> What's the plan now? I don't know. Get into town, see if we can get help. You know where town okay. is? Okay. Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going, or don't need a history lesson, or say, say nothing. Th huh? Say nothing. Bad things happened here Ooh. a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far, far away. All about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. Oh, bitch! Here. You want a little more? We complimented you your civil. clothes. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did you say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Ooh. Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Ooh. He's not my boyfriend. I'm not wasting my breath on you or say nothing. I'm not wasting my breath on you. Boom. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Boom, Taylor. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? Seriously. this is a solid plan? Heading into town? Where else are we going to go? I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? Stay with the bus. How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. 
I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. Ho! See, I kind of agree with the whole stay by the bus. Because we don't know what this town is. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't matter. <gasps> it's Silent Hill! Very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. Lady, you possible. lost it. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. Uh, we're in Silent Hill. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. Into the mist. Okay, why did they not hold hands as soon as they entered the mist? And again, they're back to them. What? what? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I don't understand! Silent Hill! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We now we're all going to go walk into the mist. Came from that direction. We must be able That's to go great. Back that no, I don't think I we can. I want everyone to stay real close. Just so hold hands. Back. Jesus. I know you're all adults. You Just hold hands. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm coming. God, Angela. Huh? Angela's the worst. Angela is the worst. For anyone who's an office watcher. <laughs> Angela's the worst! And yeah. I admit that is a little odd. Ya think, woman? More than a little. Ya think? See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay. what can we do? Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Yeah, crazy Maybe psycho tiny girl. I, I, that's yeah, a rational a nice one. Theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who Ooh. I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. Oh shit. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are I think you she is. Fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. You know what I just I'm realized? Mm -hmm. I don't get what's happening to us. I Mom, understand. Dad, Tanya, said, and the two nightmare. boys. It's okay. And then there's Megan. We're gonna be just fine. This is like a family. We'll figure a way out of this together. It's the family. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Because he's starting Step to act right like the dad. 100% starting to act like real. the dad. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? Because they're all starting to get this weird helping us vocal help stuff. Or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. Oh, we can't go anywhere else. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up. Also, are they using the same characters? Like the the same Stick close to Daniel, follow John toward town. I'm not sticking close to any of y'all. Y'all like cray cray bananas. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you die. You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Oh, but what you're sure saying don't stack up neither. Katie! Salem! 
Give me Salem! Oh my god, she just hit me. Almost tipped over my tower. Salem. Salem? Salem. Where's Salem? Salem was right here. Salem? Can we go? Oh wait, can we go back through here? Holy fork. I'm gonna die. But this is cool. But this sucks. Address. Postcard. <laughs> Kitty! Kitty! Look at Salem. Okay. So that's our first little... Oh god, Daniel scared me. Sup, dude? Um, how do I get into... There we go. So... That went down hard. Okay. Um, team tail. Where did that go? Is that in pictures? That's in pictures. Okay, so we can use this. Um, we can play it again. So it's a premonition. So there is a gun somewhere in a tool shed in a box. So we know that that exists. Now, we don't know if that's a good thing to find or a bad thing to find. It's kind of usually what happens. Um, sometimes we'll be able to find other things that'll give us more hints. Hey, Andrew came too. Um, that'll give us more hints as to what we can or cannot do. Like if picking up the gun's a good thing or a bad thing or perceived to be a good or bad thing. But I'm glad I went back. Look at Salem, the kitty. I wonder if they use the same actors for the family that burned and then. I don't like the look of that place at all. These kids. Maybe they won't ask for ID. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could see this having a gun in the tool shed, possibly. So. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. Or a gun. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Seriously? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? Seriously? This is a big deal. How is I mean, this a big deal? Anyhow, I'm telling you. Angela is onto us. She knows. What did you talk about? Did you blow? What, what did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Would you tell her, let her imagine, say nothing? Let her imagine. Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> so there's something between them. Public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Why is she not? Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. Is this just saying yes to else. dating him? We should catch up with the others. Or yes to a proposal? I'm very Standing confused. Here all night, <laughs> or we going inside? Um. But I mean, the professor and Angela look like the mom and dad. 100% look like the mom and dad. Uh, Megan. Oh. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Spears in the middle of the goddamn street. Who the hell is this dude? Hello? Hey. I mean, that kid looks exactly like the kid at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. No, I think they use the same I, actors for these characters. They don't. Yeah. But they changed them up. Excuse me. But we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. 
You mean you're trapped uh, sorry here too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. Hey, Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds thunder. like you could use a drink. She's she's but worried about how thanks. she looks. You need to keep a clear head. The Black Cat <laughs> Bar. It's right there if you change your mind. Oh. What do you want to do? Uh, not for me. So. Not for me. We now have John's bearings. Why are you even here? Little hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What are you doing in here? What happened here? What happened here? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why are you still here? There are phone. Here? Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is? No, I don't. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Why is my mic picking up more things? Uh, he's in a world of his own. Ooh, darts! An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. A X Y B A X Y B A X Y B A X Y B. A X Y B. Then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Wait, what? Okay, so you can play a little. Oh, I hate these things. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. They should. What bulls that? <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. You're the one who decided to play darts. You dipshit. Okay. So. Yay, all the stuff. I don't think we have. Okay, great. I'm glad. Cool. Um. So we have authority figure. John refused to offer of a drink. Okay. Uh, the old man introduced himself to the group as Vince. And she's a stalker. Girl appeared to be watching Taylor and the others. Because she's a fucking stalker. That's that for that. So let's... Well, we can talk to Vince again. Oh, there's a phone. That's probably dead. No signal. Fuck. Yep, no signal. Okay. That was fun. And enjoyable. Excuse you, sir. Turn your phone on silent. Okay, there's the gang. What's up, gang? Oh, there's something shiny over here. Ooh. What is this? Hold on. Give me that again. Give me that. 30180. Whoa. This place has some great history. <laughs> what? Are your children? No. Jesus. Read it. I know. I have to hold the trigger. 
Then I have to turn it over. Are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts? Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left-hand path to delinquency and Satanism. <laughs> Little Hope Town Hall, Tuesday, 6-16-1970. All hail Satan. Okay. So, they believed in all of that. Ooh. Final closing sale for Donnie's Sport Emporium and local buses rerouted. rerouted. Meeting votes for disincorporation. The round of foreclosures. What happened here? All the factories closed down. So this is what the dad was talking about. This is 1979. Uh, Little Hope Town Hall on Monday. The last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint. To vote for disincorporation since the closure of the Ravenden Textiles factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the latest round of bank foreclosures means the last of the town's folk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. With no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate. Disincorporate, said Flint. It's so sad. These people have seen their town disappear around them. Attempts to. Dot, dot, that Was that it? Attempts to. That's it, apparently. We can't unfold the newspaper further to read the rest of the article because apparently we don't have opposable thumbs and fingies. <gasps> it's a picture. June 6, 1970. I can't believe it. Ooh. These guys could be relatives. Look at them. So there's the sun. And the sun's... Can you stop hitting the freaking table? Stop! They can hear that through the mic. Uh, that's the sons and the dad, though. So they went off to war? All of them? So they all went off to war. That's fun. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... What the F was that? that? No. I definitely heard something. Nope, didn't hear anything. Nope. Did you hear that as well? Nope. Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. No. I didn't talk to Vince another yes, time. So hopefully I didn't miss anything. For. I did not talk to Vince a second time. Dude, he's gonna be a freaking ghost. 